all right everyone welcome back to another video from shomus biology and in this lecture we are going to talk about csi net life science unit 10 csi net life science unit 10 or ecology and environmental biology so csi net life science ecology and environmental biology syllabus the most important topics from every single aspect of the syllabus and at the end i'm going to tell you the five most important topic that you can prepare from the csi net life science unit 10 syllabus so let's start and dig in let's talk about it the first thing is unit 10 CSI and life science syllabus and the syllabus starting with the environment, physical environment, biotic, abiotic factors and everything, not that important. You know, although you need to know what environment is, but this is a topic from plus two level and nobody cares much about this unit anymore in CSI and life science syllabus. You need to know the basics, obviously. Now, as per our uh, rule of the discussion of these topics, we have green yellow and red color coding green is most important yellow is moderately important and red is least important so again starting here we have habitat and niche which is yellow colored moderately important topic what is niche uh, the ecological niche concept is really important what is the difference between habitat and niche what is fundamental niche what is realized niche all are equally important population ecology most important among most important growth curves population regulation meta population uh, deems, dispersal, uh, mainland, island, geography, R and K selected species, everything under population ecology is super important. Species interactions, uh, the common species interactions part is important, which is a part of the community ecology. So I should put uh, the species interactions a part of the community ecology, which is very, very important. Then we have ecological succession, uh, which is a part of ecosystem ecology, moderately important. We have ecosystem ecology, that ecology flow of minerals and energy, forest ecosystem, grassland ecosystem, which ecosystem is more efficient in energy efficiency. That is very, very important. We have biogeography, major terrestrial biomes, a theory of island biogeography, biogeographical zones of India, why they are important. Now, although this is not that important, I can put it in the least important part, but they ask question related to the biodiversity hotspot. And that comes here, the applied ecology, environmental pollution, global warning, biodiversity status changes, the red a book, IUCN list is very important. Conservation biology is also important under moderate important topics, principle of conservation, uh, different conservation projects that are going on in India. You need to shed lights on Indian conservation strategies that we're using, whether conserving a single organism better or a whole environment is more important. Very, very important. These are the topics. The green one, most important. The red, biogeography portions and species interactions, I'll put into the red section, but rest are written in here. Now let's talk about the question pattern. Now here you have more memory based questions than analytical questions and that's quite logical because population understanding is required with analysis but the questions are even though there are part B and part C questions equal number of part B and part C questions asked from CSI net unit 10, CSI net ecology and environmental biology but still the part C questions in ecology and environmental biology requires memory based portions of the questions fair share of the memory based questions that is really really important really eye opening that even though you are preparing this topic even though you understand the succession process and life history tables and very clearly but still there are some things that you always need to remember in order to answer even part c question from unit 10 so before going into the next part of our discussion there is five most important topics from this unit let me tell you one simple idea if you enjoy this video if you like this kind of knowledge this kind of information like who someone studies uh, the complete syllabus and give you a clear gist of that syllabus and topic so that you can prepare in the less number of uh, months in the less amount of time to cover most of the syllabus then you can think of joining Shomus Biology online coaching program we have all this tailored for you you can get this ready-made available at your disposal and uh, you can get our study material you can still get some benefit from it so we have different kind of packages depending upon your requirement also depending upon uh, the affordability so you can try out any of our service either study material or our coaching services if you want to get this the link here in this in the description and also we have this number that is popping in this uh, side this is our universal number you can contact this number whatsapp this number the admission for the coaching process will continue and uh, uh, if if obviously we take the students from the admission time frame which is two to two, two and a half months and beyond that time we don't take anyone in the middle so if the admission is going on we'll definitely cater you for that session or I'll tell you to wait for the next session 
so you can try this out and i believe that nobody is offering two years validity with that much of price point that we are offering so you're going to get everything for two years and two years means four net examinations so it will obviously increase your chance to qualify cs net examination even when you are not in touch with us so what are you waiting for if you wish to join you can always join in here so now let's move on to the top five must read topics for unit 10 and what are those topics starting with population ecology most important next community ecology community interactions also fall inside the community ecology ecosystem ecology is the third one and succession is a part of ecosystem so ecosystem ecology applied ecology very important applied ecology is also related to the conservation biology portion so population ecology community ecology ecosystem ecology applied ecology and conservation biology these are the topics that you need to prepare for the ecosystem and you can see that uh, is it almost covers the whole syllabus right and that is the beauty the unit 10 uh, is my favorite unit and I always tell my students to prepare unit 10 with full force because You'll get enough number of questions in part B, enough number of questions in part C, no matter whether it's a June net or December net, the number of questions are always equal and uh, you'll be able to answer the question. Yes, obviously there are memory based units in there, but still understanding of ecosystem is very important. Once you understand there are topics that will stay with you, you need to know few things, you need to remember few things in order to answer the question in the exam hall. That's the only difference and rest is uh, best. So obviously always should prepare unit 10 no matter which subject you belong no matter whether you belong to biochemistry or biotechnology but still prepare unit 10 it will take less time to prepare unit 10 and once you prepare them it's going to stay with you okay so that's all about unit 10 csi net life science unit 10 ecosystem and ecology preparation strategy if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends subscribe to get more videos like that in future thank you bye